The enemy is after you. Yes, you, the one who's been chosen, set apart by God for something greater. And make no mistake, the devil has a plan. He's not coming at you with obvious attacks. No, his methods are much more subtle. You see, he doesn't need to destroy you all at once. He just needs to chip away at your faith little by little, until you no longer remember the calling God placed on your life. Let's talk about how he does it, because once you understand his tactics, you'll be better equipped to fight back. The devil's first move, he gets you to question everything. He whispers, did God really call you to this? Are you sure you're the one for the job? Sound familiar? It should, because it's the same trick he used on Eve in the Garden of Eden, did God really say? He made Eve doubt God's goodness and truth, and she fell for it. And don't think you're immune. It doesn't matter how confident you were when you first stepped into your calling, those doubts creep in when you least expect them. Maybe you've been praying for something for so long, and the answer hasn't come. Or perhaps you've been walking in your purpose, but things aren't going as smoothly as you thought they would. The enemy seizes moments like these, planting seeds of doubt that grow if you're not careful. But here's the thing, God's word is the truth, not your doubts. When those lies creep in, you need to combat them with scripture, just like Jesus did when he was tempted in the wilderness. He didn't argue with the devil, he simply spoke God's word. And that's what you need to do. Next, the devil uses distractions. Now, these aren't always big, obvious distractions. Sometimes, it's the everyday stuff, your job, family, hobbies, even ministry itself, that starts pulling your attention away from what really matters, your time with God. Think about Martha in the Bible. She was so busy serving that she missed out on being in Jesus' presence. It wasn't that she was doing something wrong by serving, but her focus was misplaced. Mary, on the other hand, chose to sit at Jesus' feet, prioritizing him over everything else. Now, ask yourself, what are the distractions in your life? Maybe it's your work, your to-do list, or even a relationship. They might not be bad things, but if they're pulling you away from God, they're becoming tools in the devil's hands. Here's the solution. Get back to your first love. Set aside time to be in God's presence daily. Don't let life's busyness steal your intimacy with him. The enemy is also a master of deception, offering you false promises. He loves to present you with shortcuts, opportunities that seem like blessings but lead you away from God's plan. Think about when Satan tempted Jesus by offering him all the kingdoms of the world in exchange for worship. He was basically saying, I can give you the easy way out. You don't need to go to the cross. But Jesus knew that any promise from the enemy was a lie. The devil still uses this tactic today. He'll offer you success, recognition, or pleasure without the sacrifice. But here's the hard truth. Anything that requires you to compromise your integrity or your faith is not from God. It's a trap. The enemy is hoping you'll take the bait. Be discerning. Just because an opportunity looks good doesn't mean it's from God. Stay rooted in scripture, and ask the Holy Spirit for wisdom to see through the lies. When all else fails, the devil turns to discouragement. This is often his last-ditch effort to take you down. He knows that chosen ones are usually given the hardest assignments. You've probably faced setbacks, disappointments, maybe even rejection, and it's easy to start wondering, God, have you forgotten me? Elijah, one of God's chosen prophets, fell into this trap. 
After experiencing an incredible victory over the prophets of Baal, he found himself running for his life and feeling utterly defeated. He even asked God to take his life. It happens to the best of us. But just like God didn't abandon Elijah, he hasn't abandoned you either. Discouragement is not from God. He is the God who lifts your head when you're down, who reminds you that his plans for you are always good. When you feel like giving up, go back to the promises of God. Remind yourself of who you are in Christ. He called you, he will sustain you, and he will finish the good work he started in you. Here's the best part. Though the enemy is relentless, he can't win. Why? Because you're not fighting this battle alone. God has given you everything you need to stand firm. Ephesians 6.10 tells us to put on the full armor of God. You have the shield of faith to extinguish the enemy's flaming arrows, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and the helmet of salvation to guard your mind. When you stand firm in God's truth, the devil's schemes fall apart. So, what does this all mean for you? It means that yes, the enemy is trying to destroy you, but he won't succeed. God has chosen you, and his plans for you will not be thwarted. Stay in his word, stay in his presence, and stay the course. The enemy may attack, but you are covered by the one who has already won the victory. Hold on to that truth, and keep walking in your calling. The devil doesn't have the final say, God does. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart open and surrendered. Lord, I know that you have chosen me, called me, and set me apart for a purpose. But I also recognize that the enemy is relentless, seeking to plant doubt, distract me, and pull me away from the path you've laid before me. Lord, I pray for strength. When doubt creeps in, remind me of your promises. Help me to stand firm in the truth of who you are and what you've spoken over my life. Fill my heart with unwavering faith, knowing that you are always faithful, even when I can't see the full picture. Protect me from distractions that pull me away from time with you. Help me to prioritize your presence over everything else, knowing that when I am close to you, everything else will fall into place. Give me discernment to see the enemy's traps, especially when false promises or shortcuts come my way. Father, when discouragement tries to weigh me down, remind me that you are the lifter of my head. Fill me with hope and remind me that your plans for me are good, even when the road feels hard. Strengthen me to press on, knowing that you will complete the good work you've started in me. Equip me, Lord, with the full armor of God. I stand firm in your truth, wielding the sword of the Spirit, and trusting that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You are my shield, my strength, and my victory. Thank you, Lord, that no matter what the enemy tries, you have already overcome. I stand secure in you, confident that your hand is upon me and nothing can separate me from your love. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.